Alright people, welcome back to more Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a person who made a really uncreative card because it's obvious what you're doing here. This is number 108, Silent Honor Spark. Yeah, Silent Honor Spark. So, it kind of gets rid of that whole Silent Honor Arc thing, which is kind of the whole thing because it's Silent Honor Arc, so S-H and then an Arc, so Shark. This is just sh Spark, <laughs> but... And he's like number 108 instead of number 101, so, uh, you know, same stats, too. So not the most creative card, but we're still going to look at it nonetheless. So, number 108, Silent Honor Spark, is a light rank 4 Thunder XC effect monster with 2100 attack and 1000 defense. It is generic, so two level 4 monsters. So, its effect is, you can attach two extreme materials from this card, then target two cards in your opponent's graveyard, attach them to this card as face-up extreme materials. You can only use this effect of number 108, Silent Honor Spark, once per turn. If this face-up card will be destroyed, you can attach one extreme material from this card instead. So, it's exactly like 101, instead of uh, taking your opponent's extreme, I mean, taking your opponent's face-up attack position monster, uh, especially on the fact face up attack position monster and attacking the same material which is an awesome effect all you're really doing is just taking uh cards from your opponent's graveyard and attacking the same material so uh you temporarily get to just have them you know until you start detaching because you know you're probably going to start being destroyed and you're going to have to start detaching and then you literally accomplish nothing so i mean if this card existed i wouldn't play it i mean it's not it's not that good you know it's like it's like a weird version of 101 plus like like Rhapsody, you know? I'd rather play Rhapsody because when I use my effect and I banish those two cards in your graveyard, they're pretty much gone, they're banished. You know, you're gonna have to either jump through some hoops or if you don't play any cards that can return banished cards, they're banished, you know, they're banished for the rest of the duel. This on the other hand, yes, I'm taking your cards in your graveyard so you can't use them, but all you have to do is destroy me and make me detach and then you get a might back. So, for example, I'm dueling against Teller Knights. You know, generally when you duel against Teller Knights, you want to banish that Deneb. So, you want to get rid of that Deneb. So, you, you summon uh, Rhapsody, you do that, you banish that Deneb. You know, now you don't have to worry about that Altair uh, summoning that Deneb and getting searching, you know, continuous doing that uh, Teller Knight loop, right? With this, on the other hand, if you summon this and you detach two Exceed Materials and you go ahead and detach that Deneb and Exceed Material, yeah, they can't get it now, but as soon as they make you detach, like, you know, either destroying you or removing you from the field or whatever, just making you get rid of that next material, that then is right back in the graveyard for more plays, you know? I'd rather play Rhapsody. I'd rather just go ahead, banish it, and get rid of it than do this. And then, this card's kind of, a, you know, like, an egg, especially when you compare it to 101. Because when you go into 101, you're going to go ahead, yes, you're going to go ahead and detach the two exceed material, but you get to take your opponent's monster. So, when you exceed into 101, you technically neg, but then you take one of your opponent's monster, so you even out, you know? And... That's just totally fine. I mean, before we had Castell, 101 was just the best, you know? It was the tits. But uh, this, on the other hand, this is just kind of mediocre at best. You know? I I wouldn't play it. I really would. I wouldn't play it. So, uh, this, did the creator says anything? Uh, he said, most decks depend on graveyard. This card can slow them down. But like I said, I'd rather Rhapsody, huh? So, uh to see what anybody else says so someone uh put so it's number 80 our rhapsody but nine added nine times out of ten it will be vastly superior i mean i don't think it's uh vastly superior so it seems weird in that regard i don't think it's superior because you're only getting you're only taking the monsters temporarily like i said as soon as you destroy it and you detach they're right back in the graveyard I, i'd rather rhapsody and banish that shit so mm. Alright, so there is a couple more things that people say, so we're just going to go ahead and read them. Just read them. So, uh, it trades number definitely going away part for a temporary lead, but in return, uh, this doesn't suck as much as a monster. I mean, Rhapsody's not terrible. It's not supposed to be, you know, an OB wall. You're supposed to detach and then cook to another monster and make them extra beefy, you know? Uh, just because 80 is not a standalone monster doesn't mean that it's bad. Anyway. Uh, even then, it's only a stubborn 21 that guards against destruction twice. Since it guards twice, it begs for a NDR, but then again, I don't know what that means. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to matter much if you can summon something stronger. Exactly. Because uh, I still want to run number 80 over this because you pretty much permanently remove the cards in question from the game. Then there's the t plus 1200 attack thing that sometimes happens. Uh, this card is stalling would only be good 
for keeping you, you alive a little bit longer, but doesn't even amount to anything if your opponent can bypass uh, the other finish chain and stuff like that. As for this, it's okay, I guess. As I said, it's probably going to, I, you know, I'm still probably going to run number 80 because stuff I imagine, but that, but that's all right. Maybe this is better than it coming formats, but I'm seeing more Mirror Force or Yaki deck themes. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. So that's what he put. So, and then we have like one more person says something. Basically, it's a one on one that uses the Pwn's Grader to punish itself for most uh, intense purposes. So I guess, you know, guys, if your opponent destroys you, you know, you can just be like, all right, well, detach two, take two from your Pwn's Grader, right? attach them, detach two, attach two from your Pwn's Grader, right? So it's like, eh. I mean, it's nice. Uh, everything else is basically the same as Arknight. Uh, if that name didn't apply already. I mean, it's nice for using your opponent's key cards in your graveyard so they can't recycle them, but that's about it. And some of them might already have a second or third copy of a set card already, so it really wouldn't slow them down. And again, once they're in the graveyard, their purpose is more or less with plus plus once this goes. They get it back, yeah. Honestly, I prefer number 80's effect is to get rid of them for the rest of the game or other banished effects. Uh, much like one one is things still vulnerable to cast down other forms of removal that don't kill. Mm -hmm. uh, that in mind, there should be a particular reason for giving the number one and not slapping it on randomly. Um, I have no idea. Uh, he said something about numbers, because you went over the number, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And anyway, there we go. Right, I'm done talking about this card. I said, I would rather play Eevee and get rid of the card. It's nice that you get to go ahead and protect from destruction, but still, uh, I definitely think that banishing would would be better. So, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode of Fake Card Friday. So, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.